There are no holy cows in this country. We must debate issues openly, including disagreeing with the Zulu king. Democracy means that. We must never fear. Anything that seeks to instill fear is undemocratic and it will never be celebrated. I only fear God and I don't fear any living human being. This is the message from Julius Malema when he was speaking against the comments made by Zulu King about their quest for expropriation of land without compensation in KwaZulu Natal. Now Julius Malema has fashioned himself as somebody who does not fear taking anybody head on. In fact, most of his fights are always against establishment. He has always fought to ensure that South Africans, ordinary South Africans, get an opportunity to be the best that they can and get empowered through use of the resources that they were given by God and that is the land resource within South Africa. Now, I want us to listen to this clip where Julius Malema is directly addressing the Zulu king and let's listen to it then react to it later. Take a listen. Talking about a, a, a serial, uh, they are becoming richer. They don't think you are talking about them. So we have to call them by their rightful name so they know we are talking about them that they are becoming more richer. Actually, one white fellow was trying to make a joke and said, if we had known democracy was going to be this nice, would have given it to you before 1976 to avoid killing of people. Why? It's very nice for them. They can now open pick and pay in Soweto. They couldn't do it in the past. They can now show open shop right in Toyando. They couldn't do it in the past. And their opening of these shops in the black townships has led to the closing down of Spaza shops and making those small black business people in those townships and rural areas more poor. That's why democracy is so nice for whites. They would have given it to us in 1970 had they known it was going to be this nice. Chief, there is no urban or rural land in our vocab. That is South African land. All of it must be taken and the state must be the custodian of that land and reallocated to our people and preference given to the previously disadvantaged people. That includes the land owned by Ingonyama Trust. That includes the land owned by Hosi Tony Ramabulan Kotsuko that include their land. That include the land of our king uh, in the Eastern Cape who's in prison now. Dalinje, he's our king. King, no prison can take away your blood. King is blood. Kingship is blood. He's a king in prison. That include his land. All of it. And if the land in the hands of the chiefs and the kings is meant to benefit the people, the state can still do that. Unless it's meant to benefit the, the elite found in those uh, uh, tribal arrangements. But if indeed its intention is to benefit ordinary people, the state can do that. Let's not talk war. Let us not uh, beat war drums here. Uh -uh. Let us come up with superior argument on why it shouldn't be done like that. We love the Zulu king, by the way. We support him. We gave him kettles. But we can disagree with him. And we should do that. We should do that. There are no holy cows in this country. We must debate issues openly, including disagreeing with the Zulu king. Democracy means that. We must never fear. Anything that seeks to instill fear is undemocratic and it should never be celebrated. It's undemocratic and should never be celebrated. The Zulu king must call for engagement with regard to the land. He must be respected. He must not be feared. No one. I only fear God. I don't fear anyone. If it means death, let it be. Why should we be intimidated here and be threatened for thinking? We have never promised war to the Zulu kingdom. We have never promised war to the Afrikaners. We have never promised war to the whites. We have called for engagement. So why should the response be 
Leave what you are doing, otherwise you will meet uh, the unexpected. Hey, Wanna, what type of language is this in a democratic South Africa? No one is talking war here. Everybody is talking about how do we get the Zulu people, the Venda people, the Kosa people benefiting from their land? No one is excluded here. No one. So we are saying, let there be a peaceful engagement. Let us not talk war. There is no army which will go against the Zulu people. No army at all. There's no police which will go against the Zulu people. The Zulu king must be aware that anything else that seeks to put blacks against blacks will just lead on black on black violence. That's what, that's what they are calling for. Because there's no army. The people who support the expropriation of land without compensation, they will have to defend themselves for their thinking. So we want every Zulu-speaking person in South Africa to get a piece of land. To get a piece of land. We want all of them to get a piece of land. So if the king thinks this is the best way to give the people land through Ingonyama Trust, let the king come and make such a submission and persuade the EFF and persuade the ANC, and persuade parliament. The king should be encouraging dialogue in South Africa because of the experiences he had had himself in KwaZulu-Natal. He should be encouraging dialogue. There's no any other way out of this except dialogue. Not violence. Comrades, let, let's be clear here. We should never be intimidated and should never tiptoe around people who want to threaten us with violence. Never. If we die today, if we die tomorrow, if we die at any time, we should die with our boots on so that the incoming generation can respect us and continue the struggle. If we are going to be scared because the Zulu king is angry and says, leave this thing, then no one is going to inherit this struggle because they will all be scared. Some of us are still shocked why are we still alive. Because when we joined this thing, the highest price was death. The second price was prison. So there shouldn't be any amount of intimidation that scare fighters and those who believe in expropriation of land without compensation. I'm shocked with the... Anyway, I'm not shocked because I said this before. And those who care to keep archives can go and search the... I said the Zuma people who are supporting Nkosazana do not mean it when they say expropriation of land without compensation. They don't mean it. I said it. And if you doubted what I said, look at the KZN ANC today. They are tiptoeing now around the issue of expropriation of land without compensation. They are speaking against their own sponsored resolution. Why? Because they never meant it. They all just wanted the votes from Kosazan. Thank God they failed. They failed. Why is there no any disciplinary action against uh, Mkunu? Mkunu who stands there during the state of the province and speaks something completely different from the National Conference Resolution of the ANC. When we tell you this ANC is finished, people think we are playing. They do not even have respect of their own resolution. If you doubt it, just look at the KZN ANC. Sure. Uh, let's take the Did I leave something? Round. Yes. Which one? Uh, removal of uh, 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 goods on the, on the terraces. Well, uh, uh, the goods must be removed, uh, uh, and then proper goods of uh, 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 um, enterprise and uh, rainbow. If there is such a thing, uh, we, we must educate our people. Uh, uh, it's not every Vienna. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Vienna from enterprise, uh, and a baloney, uh, uh, and uh, 
The cheese is not affected. <laughs> <laughs> so they must leave cheese alone. They must not uh, the cheese. I mean, but about how much people like Maliva? So, are born or Maliva? Kya enterprise? Hey, Lord, as Maliva enterprise, please let them Maliva, man. Leave Maliva. Uh, uh, so there is no problem. The problem is when you don't want to remove enterprise and uh, rainbow, rainbow chickens. Otherwise, everything else, uh, it's fine. We don't have a problem. So if there is such incident, please bring it to our attention so that we can educate uh, our fighters. How about Barna Bano Gobar Maliva as a Yiwa? But you let a Maliva everywhere or no? Ncham Maliva. So, so we have to educate them. Eh, eh. It's not every balloon. It's not every Russian. It's enterprise Russian and all of that. So, but Jonaria didn't charge him. And I shame it. Literally, we don't even apologize for that. Yes. Enterprise, uh, Rembo, we're removing them. Pig and Pay called him. We said and said no. We, we don't do that, we don't keep things. But there's a pig and pay in, uh, in Protea, in Soweto, which kept enterprise products and, uh, and rainbow chicken. There was pig and pay in Tefliop, which was refusing to refund the students. Um, uh, they said they do not have the receipts. And uh, our argument is, why would they keep the receipts? Because they never had intention to bring these things back. And those things have got scanners. You know, people from pig and pay, you'll think they are clever, but it, many of them, they are different. It has got a scanner, that thing. So they can take it and scan it, and then it will, them, it will show if it's a pick and pay product or not. Yes. Something like that. So they can just establish a new uh, till there or a desk which deals with the returns of enterprise. It's as easy as that. Our aggressive approach is because government is very soft when it comes to white owned companies. We know that our government will not go aggressive in removing this thing from the shelves. Motualedi, the man who arrives very late on every situation, has arrived now on this issue, and then he has disappeared. We have never seen Motualedi, the most active... Now, it is evident from the video that Julius Malema will not fear to take anybody head on. In fact, he is saying that one of the things that he thought going, engaging in this champion and agitation would lead to in his life was that the highest price he could pay was death and the second highest price could be going to prison. And he says that some of them are surprised that they're alive. He's wondering why he's still alive because he knows the kind of people that he has taken head on and the manner in which he has rattled the establishment is really something that is worth talking about. Julius Malema calls for expropriation of land in South Africa without compensation. We know that land is a very serious question and in fact, even during this time of campaign, it is very, very necessary that most politicians fashion their campaigns towards ensuring that the common South African gets what is rightfully theirs. We really understand that as it has always been said and even, and even as I have always listed to you in this channel, much of land privately owned in South Africa is owned by white people, is owned by people who are not black. And therefore, it is upon these people to ensure that they set up economy that can allow even the majority who do not own much of the means of production to get involved in this. Because without proper integration of the black people in South Africa's economy, the level of disparity in incomes will continue to grow and this will result in turmoil because of people coming up, violence against those who are thought to have much than they deserve. South Africa must find a way of addressing this challenge. And it is upon these presidential aspirants, especially people like J J Julius Malema, people like uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, and many others who may want to really get to the government to work towards uplifting the common South African person. We know that the basic foundation of the Economic Freedom Fighters Party was that this party was going to uplift normal black person. Its main intention when it was formed was to liberate the black person against exploitation from the white person. And this is what Julius Malema is championing for. And this is what Julius Malema is championing for each and every time he gets an opportunity to talk to his people. He has already said that that Zuma, who has come out and said that he's not going to vote for ANC, is somebody who is really living in denial and he must wake up from the slumber that he is in because he understands that ANC is already dead 
and there is no way you can support ANC from another angle. Let's wait and see how things are going to pan out. But Julius Malema has already spoken and he's saying that he cannot be scared by Zulu King in any way. Now, if you're watching us for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and also share. Thank you, and may the good Lord bless you. Goodbye.